welcome to today. We're at Dave Walter BMW. I'm just walking around now. I found myself a E93 M3. Um, come down here looking for some parts. It's a manual. That's cool. Um, parts that hold the splash shield up. Mine aren't right. I've just got nuts and bolts in there that do the job and it's a pain in the butt to take down. So I ordered those. They're going to come in in a few days and actually set up an appointment to figure out the steering thing and that creek when it gets hot that I've had for two years. So they're going to diagnose that for me uh, Monday at noon. Today's Wednesday, so got a while left before I do that, but we'll get that done. So you saw they had that M6 Grand Coupe in there. I love that car. Like the new M5 is really nice, and of course the M6 is really nice. So I'm excited for the M3, but I think the M6 Grand Coupe is my favorite new BMW. And it's it's strange because it's this big four-door six series four-door coupe with. 600 horsepower and about the same in torque and it does 60 and probably like four or less and it's hundred thirty five thousand dollars and it's huge never driven one I sat in it that's as close as I've been I don't know I think it'd be fun to drive one and see if it's remotely connected do you actually drive it or you, and you can get it in the manual I want to drive one on the six-speed um, how would it be would it be like driving a, a 750 or would it be like, I don't think it would be close to the M5 in, in the connected, responsive driver experience. Sure, it's faster and will go through a corner tighter and all of that, but do you actually feel like you're driving it? You know what I'm saying? Anybody that likes cars will understand what I'm saying. But, yeah, I, I don't think it's within my rights to go drive a $135,000 car when I probably couldn't afford to put brake pads on. Well, boys, we are within legal limits, and I'm glad of it. Just went through three radars, lasers, whatever the hell it is, three lasers on me. One over here, one on the bridge, and one on that side, so probably not the one on the other side of the road. My God, all in a half mile here in Cuyahoga Falls, just south of the Graham, Graham Road, Silver Lake, and exit here. Jeez, I'm doing 62. Colt would have been going through here at like 72, because he will not go 55, neither will I. But 62 is well within limits. It means we get to keep going. My range is 27 miles. So I'm going to get gas, then go home, and we're changing oil. Look at that. Look at that. I think those, that looks nice. I like those wheels. I was talking with Colt last night. He doesn't. That's probably a 530, I'm going to bet. 530. Face lifted. Uh, style 42s or whatever they are. I don't know. I, I like them. If they were if they were 18s, that would be the only thing. They're 17 inches. In my opinion, 17 inch wheels are on the smaller side for a car as large as the E39. If the E39 were built today, it would have 18s, probably stock, 19s or 20s on an M. Or part of sports packages. Um, but back in the 2000s, I would guess the early 2000s, the average wheel size on your average car was probably like. 16 cheaper cars 15s 17s were the, the good size so then 18 for, for the m but things change times change but those, those it's just a classic design wheel as i stand here and babble right bank is done my onboard computer is going bong you know you turn the key on e39 owners will sympathize and instead of the normal ding it goes bong and tells me i have a 20 mile range so i'm going to take care of that i haven't gotten gas in like 10 days or two weeks um, so we're going to do that, and then as I said, we're going to do some oil. I ordered those clips. Did I mention that? The clips are coming in. The, the screws and receivers are coming in uh, Friday, but I'll get them next Monday do that. It'll probably be another day project to drive the car up on the ramps, drop the whole shield. I'll probably clean it uh, this time and then get it hung up right. Hey, look who I ran into. I was just leaving the gas station over there, Shell, and I got a call and he said, where you at? And he's right here having lunch. So I met up with him real quick. I'm gonna go do my oil soon, but I left my, uh, well, technically it's called a breaker bar, but I've been calling it other things in, uh, in his trunk. So I got that from him. I'll probably be using it on my oil lug bolt. Um, Red Bull? I would like to hear what that sounds like or feels like at 65 miles an hour. That freaking aerodynamic thing up there, that'd be hilarious.
That's a work day. I like this kind of work. This is easy. Just doing some oral. Getting to use my new torque wrench or my uh, new breaker bar over here. Did I call it a torque wrench before? Because it's clearly not a torque wrench. Looks like we're just dripping a little bit now. So let that continue and uh, then we'll throw that bolt back in. Put a quart in there. Sink my filter back in there and then fill that up with the dip, drive it, and check it. This should be like one of the pictures they put in the book on this car back in 2000. Dumping 10W60 into the freaking oil fill over here on this motor. Oil has been drained and I haven't checked for leaks yet, but I did put the new copper washer up there. Tighten it down with my uh, thing there, 13 mil. Got the filter in, clean that up, put a quart in there. And I've since put uh, four quarts in the actual uh, oil oil pan now. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put two more in, then check the dip and top off accordingly. Evening, I mowed across the street, took care of that. Today's been super productive. Shipped out the MacBook Pro 13 inch that sold. Uh, ended up rebuilding OS 10 on that last night. I work, I life, all of those software suites installed. Uh, cleaned it up really nicely, put it back in the factory box, put the cord in there, all that good stuff. Uh, put that, that Apple box into the box that Apple shipped it to me with like four years ago and sent that to Pennsylvania today. So hopefully it's new, owner enjoys that. Um, did the oil in the car, you saw that, that's all done, all set, looking good. Mowed across the street, lots of stuff done today. Dave Walter got parts set up the appointment. Just met Alex downtown for dinner at Flipside. I just got fries and a shake, I need to eat some, get something to eat. Uh, I'm currently en route back to his house right now, following the eclipse up there. Um, so probably just gonna hang out a little bit tonight. And um, that's about it. So we'll film more later, I take it. I hope. I'll try. I'll do my best. Home from Alex's We Watch Duck Dynasty. I just did a bunch of emails, getting the vlog together. I'm pretty tired. My back hurts from today's physical crap of laying under a car for a while and then mowing and trimming and stuff. I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, I'm hoping to get another yard done, probably mine. More stuff around here, and then Friday's gonna be a good day. So stay tuned. We'll talk then. Good night.